Hi and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Well in this video I am going to be making a buttermilk pie. This is so delicious but you have to think ahead when you make this because you need to make it and then you need to when it's done let it come down to room temperature and then put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for several hours before you serve it because this is not one you eat warm. So stick with me and we'll get right to it. Alrighty, so here are the ingredients of buttermilk pie. First, I'm going to go ahead and add in a cup of sugar. That's a half cup measuring cup, so that's a cup of sugar. Next, it's going to get two eggs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mix these up with a fork just to get the egg really beaten into the sugar. Now it's going to get a half a cup of melted butter. All right, so this is a half a cup of butter, eight tablespoons of butter. And I'm stirring that in real quick. Now it's gonna get a cup of buttermilk. Let me take this out. There's a cup of buttermilk. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple of spoonfuls of sugar, uh, vanilla. So I've just got a jar of vanilla. Y'all, I always have a lot of vanilla on hand. I will be sure and link in the show notes how I make my vanilla extract. The last thing this is going to get is a tablespoon of flour. Oh, I did forget to add the salt. I need to add the salt. So now I'm going to pour this into my pie crust. Y'all, I have never made a pie crust from scratch before, but that's what this is. So that's why it doesn't look perfect. But, and I'm not telling you how I made it yet because I'm not positive it's gonna come out exactly right. But one thing I know is that this pie filling is fine. So I expect this will be all right. But this, this video is not about making a pie crust. If this one comes out good, then I'll tell you in another video how I made it. I'm just going to pour this right in here. Now this is going to go in a, an oven preheated to 350 degrees for about 50 minutes. And then I'm going to be cutting the temperature back on the oven to 325 degrees and baking it for 10 more minutes. So I'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, it's time to take the pie out of the oven. And like I said, the way this bakes is you bake it at 350 for 50 minutes and then you turn the heat down to 325 and bake it for 10 more minutes and so here it is now it's not going to stay as puffy as it is right now and let me see if i can zoom in so right now i don't know if you can tell but it's pretty puffy it's not going to stay that puffy. As the temperature goes down, it's going to settle down some. Um, and then 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let this come almost completely down to room temperature. And then I'm going to put it in my refrigerator overnight because it's already like 10 o'clock at night here. And then tomorrow, which will be Saturday morning, I will be taking it out of the refrigerator and cutting a slice. And I'll let you see how it looks when I cut it and try it. As for my crust that I have never made before, I am pretty pleased that it looks it looks fine. It didn't burn or anything. I'm kind of curious about like, it got super puffy. So I'm expecting maybe it'll be real flaky, <laughs> but we'll see. It did shrink, which I was a little bit, I'm a little bit surprised at. Um, but again, I've never made my own pie crust before. As long as I've been cooking, I've just never done it. Well, I've attempted it in the past, but it didn't come out very good. This is the first time I've successfully made one. Um, but once I cut it and see how nice and flaky it is, if it's nice and flaky, then it might be something I'll do another video on. But anyway, I'll bring you back in the morning and show you a slice. All right, y'all. So it's the next day and it's time to cut this pie and have some. First of all, would you notice how much this has just gone down? It was really puffy when I took it out of the oven and I told you it was going to go down and it definitely did. The crust has also pulled in some and that's fine. So let me cut this and I'll tell you how it is. Here we have a delicious slice of this buttermilk pie. You see, it's just a nice custard type pie. It's so good. The top is gonna be, a, has a little bit of, just a little hint of crunch to it, just from, I guess, where the sugar um, cooked and browned and all. And that is delicious. It is consistent every time. It is so good. Y'all, I this this is like the perfect springtime summertime pie. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Get you some buttermilk. Inevitably, somebody's gonna ask me in the comments, can you just make up your own buttermilk for this with like lemon juice and milk or vinegar and milk? And I don't know because I've never done that before. You can certainly try it, but I would definitely recommend trying it first with like legit real buttermilk. So um, oh my goodness, this is so good. And the crust actually came out really good. So I'm, I think I might actually have to do a video on that at some point. So I hope that you'll make this. And I hope that you'll let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, if you haven't already, give it a like. Give, it, give the channel a subscribe. Lots of content coming all the time. I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.